what's going on youtube all right we're back at it again here today uh putting in a uh dual head two head uh mini split uh system here uh we're doing uh two mitsubishi pkfys um 36s i think or 30s and we got a uh uh five ton pumi series up on the roof here uh just did all this yesterday got the units mounted uh line set going to them here we got the uh t right there and going up to the roof up there uh but anyhow we're gonna keep on going and uh hopefully get this mostly knocked out today um i got some line set cover down there as well too i'm gonna try to see how it looks with that line set cover if not we're just gonna have to make it look nice with what we got so uh, uh they didn't want to go through the wall on this um so i got the thermostat down there as well i have to run communication wiring and everything else as well too so i uh, got a little bit of work ahead but uh i'm gonna go ahead and get started and i'll keep you guys posted on the progress here all right guys so it's still looking a little rough here but uh i got the uh communication wire ran i got my ma controller wire ran uh to that indoor unit and then i got communication daisy chained here um i need to go pick up some tubing so i can run that condensate drain line uh, i got some plants for that and uh other than that we're getting there so uh like i said it's looking a little rough right now but uh we'll see how it looks at the end here uh still waiting on the electrician to come and bring power to these indoor units as well too but anyhow that's where we're at so uh i'll get back with you guys here shortly what's going on youtube all right man we're back at it again here on this uh mitsubishi system that i'm putting in so i got this dark out here i got here a little early today to be able to hook up my vacuum pump because it's supposed to start raining here in a couple of hours so uh i don't want to take the chance but I, I got the system pressurized with uh nitrogen last night or yesterday afternoon really um and uh uh everything's pretty much ready to go here so let's look at see i left it at five let's take, take a snapshot picture of it so um yeah okay so this was at 12 11 p.m i took that snapshot picture there and i was at uh 193.6 let's see how cold it was that day uh, i thought i took a snapshot bit yesterday it was 60 uh like 60 I, oh no it was uh 71 degrees yesterday here so uh let's see where we're at today here um so i already got it hooked up come on man. well come on there yeah okay so that's where we're at we're at uh 192.9 so and we were at 193.6 so we're tight we're good uh that's probably just that tad bit of temperature change there but uh because it's currently it was like 71 right now it is Sixty-seven. Okay, so yeah, we're good. All right. Well, uh, there's a calculator you can use for that too. So let's just go ahead, just for kicks here. Let's see where we're at. Let me find it here. one that I like to use here let me try to find it 
the whole while. I think it's this one yeah this one here so we're gonna put the start temperature was 71 starting pressure was uh, 493.6 and then the new temperature right now is 67 we're gonna calculate yeah, 489 actually yeah 489.77 is the ending pressure uh we're higher than that so uh anyways we're good uh it might have been a little cooler yesterday but uh, i can't remember but anyways uh i'm happy with that so we're gonna go ahead and take this off okay All right, well, I'm going to get hooked up real quick. I'm going to have to drop a uh, extension cord down the uh, hatch here so uh, so I can get uh, uh, some power up here because there's, there's one outlet over there and it's not working. And uh, I'm not trying to try to figure out where uh, there's any other outlets or bring any longer extension cords. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of equipment on this roof. But anyhow, let's go ahead and... Uh, get this set up and i'll get back to you guys all right guys so uh pulling a vacuum now uh let me turn that ballast off because i'm already at i mean i just turned this thing on uh literally just turned it on so now it's slowing down a little bit there so let this do its thing here i got a uh, just a few things to kind of tidy up downstairs Hopefully I can beat this rain before coming back up here and picking up my vacuum pump. So uh, I still got to run uh, some uh, Armaflex on these uh, tubes. Unfortunately, this is the way I had to do it. I, I don't really care for it too much, but I uh, uh, had no other option because I couldn't fit those down there. And I didn't want to put them all the way down in that space, that PVC with the fittings going to them because I just didn't want didn't feel comfortable with that pressure going downwards like that uh through that um three-quarter pipe so anyhow i mean it is what it is i'm just gonna get my flashlight so you guys can see a little bit better but uh all right so anyhow i had to do it kind of like that up here i ran that drain line all the way to the closest drain all the way that way down there uh, anyhow that's the closest uh, roof drain here so i ran that yesterday did all that and uh let's see where we're at we're at 400 we're doing actually pretty good um so yeah uh so anyhow let that run for a little bit i mean i could probably go ahead and blank it off now let's just see what it does here so let's turn on the light here hope you guys can see that or not yeah okay uh let's go ahead and just actually i gotta cycle these i got the i always like to rock these a little bit just uh i mean you guys can see the difference in pressure change so let's see i mean the micron level so watch this one here i got this one here you see that uh just because those ball valves hold a little bit of moisture in them so uh you know you want to rock them a few times though just to get those uh just get that moisture out of that little ball valve there and then we're gonna do the same for this one here watch that uh, see that yeah and that one's like super close to the micron gauge there so that's why that one uh went up so high there but let's give that a few times here we'll rock it a few times come on let's see if we're tight from here to here It kind of stop. I don't know. I might have a little leak. I, I forgot to bring my other Apion little fit in there, but it might just be a little rise there. But uh, I don't think it's actually leaking. But I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it is. Come on. Should probably go get my Apion one. Uh, this is that yellow jacket uh, coupler, and uh, just don't really like it too much. But uh, more than an Apion one, but 
with my IP on one in the truck there, so I was using it on another job, so uh I'm all should stop. I mean I got this blanked off. Button that up a little bit more. I don't really care for that at all. Come on. Yeah, see, some. I wonder if something's leaking on that thing. Anyhow, pull it down a little lower here and see what it does now. trust this coupler out uh, not a not one bit see the system is tight I got it both linked off I don't know why that's not that's something's wrong with that ball could be something going on with that ball there so whenever you turn it off so right now it's not rising uh, I've had these leak before the little ball in there so uh, Maybe something going on there, but uh, I got that off, and that one off. This has been, man, I, I mean, this is, it's not a long line set, it's about 20 feet. But, I mean, I've, I've been running this vacuum for maybe about 10 minutes or so, so uh, that goes to show you. I mean, it makes a big difference when you got core removal tools and you got uh, uh, half inch hoses on there, so we're doing pretty good there. I'm gonna let it run for a little longer though, anyhow and uh, get this thing nice and tight. Like I said, I need to go back down and get some refrigerant anyways. So, um, yeah, we'll let it run for a little longer. Let's go back down. So right now it is 6.37. So, I mean, uh, so I'm gonna go back down real quick, go grab uh, some refrigerant and we'll come back up here and see where we're at. All right, where are we at? 212 microns, all right, cool good enough for me I'm gonna blink this one off blink that one off here and then uh, we'll go ahead and start a decay test on this thing here that was wrong it's about like 30 feet line set here uh, I did a, a DSB file on this unit um, so I already know how much uh, refrigerant to put in here so Turn on my Bluetooth. And see that gauge is super sensitive. That's the only thing. Let me open this up a little bit more here and let that kind of come down some more. Go ahead and connect. See if I got my Bluetooth on yet. Yeah, last time, last time I was kind of having a little issue connecting. I had to get out and get back on. So let's see if I got to do the same thing or not. Yeah, usually it connects pretty quick. So. Right, let me get some of this set up here. Okay, so we are at 252. We're gonna hit start. Final stage, blah blah blah. We're gonna do a decay test here for five minutes. So let's blank this off. We're gonna blank this off here and we're gonna hit five minutes i don't want to be out up here any more longer than i need to so right now we're in the decay process and we started it at 261 over here so let's go ahead and look at the auto scale we'll 
kind of see that there and uh let me get back to you guys here at the end of it all right guys well we're back at it again here uh it's been about 30 about 40 minutes already actually uh because uh i had to go run some uh, uh do some other things down there but uh i stopped it at 261 earlier and then it passed the five minute uh decay test but then i said let me go ahead and just do another 10 minutes because i had some other stuff to go do so uh i stopped it at 271 it went up to 282 after 10 minutes and now we're at it's been about 40 minutes probably about probably about a good uh 25 minutes or so since the first original stop but uh or since the the end of this one here this 10 minute one it's been about 40 minutes in total so anyways we're at 301 i'm happy with that uh we're gonna go ahead and start putting refrigerant in here and uh get it going so uh, i'll get back to you guys here all right guys so i got this blanked off here uh eight pounds four ounces is what i need so let me just purge this real quick here all right got that purged off i saw some kind of muddy stuff coming out of this hose here let me go ahead and purge it a little bit more okay that's good all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh open this bad boy up we'll go ahead and um start letting some refrigerant going through so anyhow like i said i already did the uh the uh uh dsb file for this thing here and uh I know the line set length and everything else and uh uh show me i need 8.4 pounds so um 8.4 so 0.4 of 16 is going to be uh four ounces so eight pounds four ounces is what i need here so that's 25 percent really 0.4 is 25 percent of 16 so so we're just gonna put in that it in pretty quickly here while that's doing that let's go ahead and take the micron gauge off all right let that do its thing and i'll get back to you guys here when i finish all right guys so uh i'm finished now uh got my total charge written down 19.4 pounds uh got my mnet connection here waiting on the electrician to come and uh install uh the high voltage here i think they're gonna be out here uh monday today's friday so uh anyhow we're completely done over here uh, i need to set the address on this unit uh this is gonna be first digit 51 all right uh, i don't know if that's i gotta look at that uh sw u2 i don't know if that's 10's place or if that's just uh let me see here um, sw2 come on figure out how this thing goes um okay one's digit and tens digit so yeah all right cool so this should be five and one i set that the address 51 there um and then we got our indoor units here so anyhow let me uh close all this up here get off this roof uh it's already kind of starting to rain a little bit already did a little bit so uh i want to get off this roof before it starts pouring down but uh yeah let me get this all tidied up i got that cover back on here and like i said i didn't really like to do it this way but it's kind of the only option i had there was no sink nearby or anything like that where i can drain my condensate so uh and like uh, the furthest drains all the way over there but anyhow let me get this all tidied up and uh get ready to get on out of get off this roof here so uh i'll get back with you guys here at the indoor units 
Uh, all right, guys. So uh, just wanted to uh, let you guys see the final of it. Uh, I got the cover still off because I'm waiting for the uh, electrician over here to come and uh, do his electrical. So I put the covers back on for him. But uh, anyhow, um, I do kind of like how this... Uh, um, cover came the line set cover came out so it uh, looks a lot nicer than having that black armor flex hanging off that pipe there but uh anyhow we got the goby condensate pump oh uh, which is a pretty good pump actually i mean i've had some issues with it because what happens is inside of that pump they use a uh, very small thin little one eighth of an inch type hose and uh it has a spring inside of it just to keep it straight and sometimes those get pretty nasty clogged up and then uh they don't uh, work very well but anyhow got that going um here this is set to unit address one unit address two we got one ma controller uh it comes over here and then daisy chains so tb15 here then daisy chains over there to that unit uh tb15 as well too um so anyhow let me get on my laptop here and i'll show you exactly how i built the system out for you. all right guys so as you guys can see here i got the system laid out outdoor unit address 51 comes into that t fitting there well which is that part number um as well let me see here i got the box somewhere here but somewhere. this is the box for it here but yeah CYM Y sixty two GE. Uh, that's gonna be that set of T's over there, which is pretty much just a regular T. That's all it is, nothing special. Um, and then, uh, anyways, uh, you got your indoor units. You got your line set length, so nine feet, nine feet there, and then you got seventeen feet there with three bends, two bends, three bends. Uh, so anyhow it's where we're at uh, I got my room numbers unit numbers addresses and group numbers here so I went to controls view I got one MA controller uh, which is that same part number and then uh, all in one group here uh, my piping view this is pretty much exactly how it looks as well and then uh, all your equipment here with serial numbers and model numbers and all that good stuff and uh so we can go to export which i already have it exported uh let me see what happens if i do let me see if i can find it here all right quick here it is okay so here's the job here on a pdf so i can send this to the customer or do whatever i gotta do but as you guys can see right there it's got the total charge of the system it's got the whole build out there it's kind of got that whole little layout there it makes it real easy um, to figure out what's what so anyhow so that's for now uh, I just wanted to show you guys that there and uh, like I said we're gonna be um, doing startup on it after the uh, electrician is done with his thing there so um so after the electrician is done then we'll be doing startup on it and uh go from there i'm probably gonna stick those covers on there uh the reason why we got so much line set here is because originally they wanted this the condenser mounted through an existing roof hole uh but anyhow uh we would have gone through a bunch of walls just to get that line set over here so uh i have to take that line set back um uh, pretty much all i used was a roll of that you know that's really about it uh but anyhow uh, about 20 foot roll or whatever and then i had three quarters so that was a little different that's five eighths and a half inch here but but anyhow uh we're all set so once we uh come back and do startup i'll be sure to uh get you guys uh on it so you guys can see what uh what we got going on over here and I'm not sure if this is the this might be the power they're gonna use. I don't know what this is, if this 208, 230 or not, but uh single face, whatever they got going on over here. So this might be 
where they're going to get power going up to the condenser maybe i don't know uh that might just be there to be there out or something else but anyhow yeah we're going to do that then um, once i come back and do startup i'll make sure i'll get some video of it all right well i'll see you guys on the next one